and we're gonna talk about a little bit what is the food truck about. So what is this food truck? Tell me a little bit about it. So basically it's a brainchild between myself and, and Chef Heli. Uh, we decided to take, uh, sell, make authentic Mexican and Caribbean food. And that's the, the mess, taste of Puebla. We started last year with a little small food truck, uh, just small Mexican food. And then now we expand into a bigger truck. So, where is this truck located and where can I find it? Uh, we're right now, we're located right in front of the, um, the Icon School of Medicine in uh, for uh, Mount Sinai. Madison in between East 98th and East 99th Street. Okay. Yeah. All right. And by the way, you can find that information on my website if you're looking to find where exactly it's located. Um, so the next question I have for you is, the name is Taste of Puebla. Yes. Where is that? So Puebla is a small, is a small, um, town, small village in Mexico, uh, about maybe three or four hours away from, from Mexico City. It's more towards the center. Okay. So it's basically the epicenter of a lot of things, a lot of, a lot of the food, that, uh, that people know in, uh, from Mexican cultures actually started around that area, okay. around the Puebla Michoacan area. So that's Wait. where Puebla is. That's where Chef Heli's from. Okay. Is everything is prepared in the truck? Yeah, we prepare everything. Everything's fresh. Everything is done on a daily basis. Our sauces are homemade. So we don't skimp on We don't buy anything pre-made. So before we go inside the truck, we learned a lot about the truck. So now we're going to meet the chef behind the food. My name is Heli Tome. I'm from Mexico, I'm Puebla, Mexico. Okay. And nice to meet you guys. I want to know the people uh -huh. and know the, 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 the Mexican food, the really Mexican food mm -hmm. that is coming in my, my, my country, my, my, my town. Yeah. Yeah, it's a typical, it's not, it's not the typical uh, Mexican American. Um, what are some of the favorite food from the menu? So some of the favorite food is, of course, our tacos. Our tacos are very good. We use a special kind of um, corn, blue corn tortilla. A lot of people love our burritos, our flautas, which you guys tasted. Yes, and, it was delicious. <laughs> and also on the, on the Caribbean side, we also have our sandwiches, our Cubano sandwiches, and our mm -hmm. pigleta sandwiches are very popular here. Okay. And then we also have some customized uh, sandwiches from the Ham Radio Show. From where? The Ham Radio Show. Oh, okay. Nice. So let's go inside. We're gonna try two things right now. We're gonna try the flautas and we're also gonna try the bistec of Mexicana. So let's follow me inside so we can see and taste this wonderful food. Come on, sister. So let's go. Join me. So we in here now. We are going to make the flautas from the taste of Puebla. Okay. So what is that you have in your hand? It's a blue corn tortilla. Okay. So Blue corn tortilla. Blue so we're gonna tortilla. use the blue corn tortilla to make it. So show us how do we make that? Yeah, it's a, a, a little one. Mm -hmm. the, the great manipulation. Okay. Just a little bit. Corn. And the how do you garlic. make the blue corn tortilla? Like what makes the, it blue? The corn is is like that. It's, oh, it's the blue. corn is blue. Yeah, okay. It's a lot of kinds of, of corn. Mm -hmm. It's a red, uh, yellow, white, blue, yeah. and is the blue one is healthier yeah. or something? Uh, is the blue corn healthier? Yeah. Oh, okay. So that's why you guys use it? Yeah. Okay. It's more and, and more tasty and then uh, the the it's more soft. Okay. Okay. You put a uh, steam or fry or Okay. On the, 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 Okay. So we uh, chicken breast. Chicken breast or chicken thigh. Okay. The chicken thigh is more, 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 okay. more, juicy. Okay. And then, black pepper and salt. Okay. 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 The chicken is looking good. Look at me. Yeah, yeah, do it. You can smell, like if you can smell the chicken. The chicken is smelling really good right now. So much? Yeah. Uh -huh. It's dry. Okay. It's not dry. Oh, okay. So you just cook it just a little bit because it's going to fry. Okay. Because it's not overcooked. Because you want yeah. the chicken to be juicy. Juicy. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah. Oh, that's it. What kind of cheese 
Esa tófica que es oh, eh, fresco, queso fresco. Queso fresco. Queso fresco. Queso fresco. Queso fresco. Okay. En el roble. Una de las En el una de olla. Ah, por la tremenda. Okay. En el mega Oh, okay. And the cheese is going to melt in there? Yes, a little bit. Okay. Okay. Esa tomatillo, cilantro y okay. jalapeño. Ok, tomato, cilantro y jalapeño. En jalapeño. Okay. 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 You got the crispy on the outside. The chicken is soft in the inside. It's not overcooked. You should definitely have some of this. And then having the um, cheese on top, it give it that. Okay. 
Not important, jalapeno. Jalapeno, so it has to be hot. Yeah. This looks so good already. We didn't even start. <laughs> you can smell the jalapeno cooking. Yeah, that's a little spicy. I thought so, Karen.